What's up guys, this is Austin, bringing you another Pokemon Sapphire commentary. Um, I told him to make a video, he didn't make a video, so that kind of makes me mad. Miles isn't going to be doing commentaries again for Pokemon Sapphire because he didn't find motivation to do it. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm just going to be doing Ruby or Sapphire by myself from now on. So, yeah. We're just going to keep going with this. Uh, I'm doing a mystery house right now. So, I mystery man's house. I forgot whatever it's called. Um... So yeah, this is pretty easy to do. I don't remember exactly what you get from it, but we'll see at the end here. And it's pretty fun. It's not that hard of a challenge. All you do is just use cut on it. On the trees. You do need a Pokemon that has cut, and you should have that. Uh, you should have that on some Pokemon. Or, ah, no, you, should, you don't have to have it on a certain Pokemon, but you should have that. TM or HM? HM, HM, that's what it is. So, uh, I teach it to my Grovile. And it's saying he already knows four moves. Should I replace a move with for cut? Uh, which move should be forgotten? So, it's a hard decision. But I pick quick, att quick attack. Because... I don't really need quick attack. I do need cut. I need to be able to cut through things. I need to be able to get through obstacles. So, I pick cut. And, so I'm just going to go through here. This was actually really easy. I believe I actually get to the end before I even get what you, the scroll or whatever that you need. So I'm just cutting my way through. Cutting my way through again. And I believe my first battle is going to be against this guy in the blue hat. Yep. Actually, no, I think that's where the scroll is. That kid's, like, retarded or something that he didn't notice it right there. Wandered into this weird house by accident. Well, you're stuck there now. Oh, that's really creepy. He's letting little kids just, like, wander into his house. Called, like, child services on him, I don't know. So anyways, I use Bullet Seed on his little zigzagging, because I hate that Pokemon with a passion. He uses Sand Attack on me, but... Oh well, I mean, that's not going to do anything to me. So I'm going to try out Cut here. Not the greatest move. That was a critical hit. He's also, like, 10 levels under me. So, of course, I'm going to beat him. He's about to use another Zigzagoon. I'm like, screw you, young Eddie. Uh, I believe my Grovile levels up after this. I don't... I didn't see what happened there. I don't know why I didn't hit. So I try and use cut. My attack missed. I'm like, what the hell? Why is my attack missing? So I'm like, ah, forget this. I got other moves I could use. I use bullet seed because I love that move. It's not that high of a hitter. But it hits multiple times. It's very useful. Uh... So I'm going to use an Absorb here just to get my extra HP back. I don't even really need to, but I mean, free HP, why not? He survives with just like a hair of life left. I'm going to Absorb him again, take some more HP off him. And of course, he faints here. Because he doesn't really die, you know, Pokemon don't die, I don't know why, but that's kind of weird. Uh, rank up to level 25, or level up to level 25. So I'm a quarter way to getting my Grovile to level 100, which I know already by, like, I'm at the fourth gym leader, I believe. I know that 
I'm not gonna make it to 100 by the time I get to Elite Four. But that doesn't matter. I was kind of confused on what to do here. And I'm like, oh well. Okay then. So I decide to just go back towards the way I went before. And I do believe that I make it. I don't really need any uh, help here. Um, the fourth gym leader. I tried it twice already. I haven't played. I haven't played lately, but I have like ten games recorded. But uh, I played about. Hmm. Like three times, I played that fourth gym leader. Like I tried to get there. Every time I got lost, I died once. I only played him two times. Or, I only tried going in two times. Played him the first time, I died. Which always seems to happen. Then the second time, I just couldn't find my way there. So I'm like, screw this. And... So, here, I make it all the way to the end. Switch in my Pokemon because I need Wishmer. Or no... Kirby. It's not a Wishmer anymore. I forgot what that evolution is called, but uh, I'll use him because he needs some rank. And uh, use Pound there. Gets half, half, half health. Pretty good. I mean, better than nothing. So use Pound again. Gain like about now. I'm halfway with my experience points. So I'm going to level up pretty soon. Um, haven't leveled this guy up yet. I think recently. He's not evolved yet, so... I mean, nothing to look forward to really with him. Uh, like I said in another commentary, I believe. Got rid of Poochiena. And got a new Pokemon. We'll just have to see what that Pokemon is. I like it a lot. It's a good Pokemon. So, gonna cut these trees, cut these trees. Stupid animations, like, just annoying. So, yeah, um, I'm getting a DS hopefully this weekend. I don't know when, though. Uh, it'll definitely be within the next couple of weeks here. Um, I'm gonna get a DSi. And then I'll get Soul Silver, and hopefully I'll be able to get an R4 or Ace card, whatever I need uh, soon, so that I can get uh, Wi-Fi battles posted up. I do plan on doing that, and yeah, that's something I looked forward to. I want to figure out how people do black and white. I'm thinking that they get a Japanese game and do it but i don't know how they like can really understand what they're doing but whatever it'd be kind of cool if you nicknamed your moves so that you could uh tell what you're doing and see here i make it all the way to the end of the house um i found the guy and that's it. I'll see you guys next time.